ground that I've run down and I uh, beat a rod into the ground and hooked it up to. <clears throat> then I got my antenna wire. It's on top of the mini blinds to a pie pan. That's not real efficient. It's supposed to be round, but it works. Okay, then off the positive and negative, I got it going to a rectifier. Then the positive and negative off of the rectifier go to this meter right here. And I think this is more or less like a, a version of an earth battery. I don't think it's nothing. You know, I don't, it's no major voltage or nothing. I, I'm sure with enough of them you could get voltage. Okay, now here's my transmitter. What I've got is uh, the frequency is being fed by DeWalt drill trigger. Here to here. But I've got it rigged up by a push button because it draws so many amps. You know, it's not really efficient yet, but it draws so many amps that, you know, I don't want to burn nothing up. So I just do it by pulsing it right here. Okay, then off the the secondary, one of them's acting as an antenna. And the antenna's put on top of my TV, and that's probably about eight foot tall. Okay, then what I got is off of the antenna slash secondary, instead of putting the antenna straight to the ground, I run it through a spark gap. And it's an adjustable spark gap. It's just, you know, some little cheap homemade thing. But you can get a better output on your receiver by adjusting the spark gap. And also, I'm thinking about, instead of using a push button, think about using my box, you know, and maybe, you know, setting it up. Here it goes. Anyway. So... Let me show y'all something uh, before I get started. There's the receiver transmitter. Transmitter receiver. So that's a good, I mean, it's like a diagonal. Probably a good eight foot at least. But here's the meter right here. Right now, the earth battery is picking up. You know, I'm not around it. And it's, you know, it's not probably picking up magnetic fields from somewhere, but I'm about to hit the button right now. Y'all hear the frequency in the background? I'm almost picking up a volt. I can get it better than that if I take and adjust this. See, it's even affecting the camera. See if I can get it up to a volt for y'all. The, so, uh... It's weird how it works. Sometimes you want the gap to be bigger. You can adjust the gap if you grab the, uh, don't grab it on the antenna side, but grab it on the ground side of the spark. And you can adjust the gap with your hands. Oh, see, I got it to eight for a second. That was real close to. There's point nine transmitting. All right, it's off, on, off, on. Okay, that was point nine nine. So that's doing pretty good. And like I said, I've tried different things. I've even tried pulsing the transmitter, or I mean pulsing the antenna. You know, just manually, just rubbing a lead on it. And it does a little, you know, different things do different things. So, you know, let's be a team and figure this out, I guess. 